A former Florida state quarterback reaches a plea deal after he was caught on camera punching a local woman in the face at this packed bar in Tallahassee. DeAndre Johnson pleaded guilty in exchange for a lighter sentence. Now, for the first time, we are hearing from the victim in the case. News 6 reporter Johnny Fernandez is following this story. Johnny, she says that punch caused her more than just physical pain. Shelly, that's right. Abigail Hussey says that the punch scene in the surveillance video changed her life. She says in school she suffered from her grades and she was actually scared to go back because she feared people would see the bruise on her face and recognize her from the video. Now, take a look at the surveillance video from a Tallahassee bar. You can see Hussey tussling with the FSU quarterback, and then she raises her fist, he pushes her back, and then she holds him, she holds her, and then that's when he pretty much hits her and knocks her out in a way. Now, Hussey suffering from some uh, bruising and swelling and a small cut on her face, and Johnson, he accepted a plea deal with, which, which would include six months probation and 10 days on the sheriff's jail work crew. It's the same deal he rejected a few months ago when he tried to get those work days transferred to Mississippi, where he's going to school. Now, Hussey says she's glad to have justice, but wishes other people got to hear her side of the story. I'm actually very grateful that um, this deal happened and everything, but I, I can't help but feel a little upset that the whole truth didn't come out with the trial. I think that a lot of people think that I'm the one who started it, even though it wasn't me. I, I wouldn't do that. And Johnson was set to go on trial on misdemeanor battery charges. We should know that Johnson was suspended indefinitely by FSU. And as soon as the video came out, he never actually played a game for the team. As for the victim, she says she's now back on track to graduate this spring. David Shelley. Johnny, thank you.